Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com, a one-of-a-kind series on machine learning using Arduino BLE Sense, Arduino 33 BLE Sense board. This is a fantastic board guys. I hope you guys are ready with this device and uh, got hold of one of this. If you don't have, reach out to me. I will get the kit, the ML, the tiny ML uh, kit for you, the entire kit for you. All right let's get started so we are on lesson number four in this lesson we are going to install a nine axis imu library what is imu it's inertia measurement unit so i'm going to talk about imu when we start building some robotics and gesture control uh, devices using uh, 33 ble in the future lessons for now for this lesson we need to just go ahead and install the imu library so this library, the nine axis IMU library, guys, you, you might have used the MPU 6050 or the Adafruit nine axis uh, sensor, which is of this big size. Probably some of them are bigger than this board itself, right? So those are pretty expensive, uh, uh, you know, uh, the sensor sensors, which, which you need to again, solder it, breadboard it and stuff like that. But the most fantastic part is, the entire nine axis is actually inbuilt within 33 BLE, which is which is great. And that device is called LSM 9DS1. It's a library. Basically, it's called LSM 9DS1. And this this particular library will basically access, you know, it's a kind of nine axis IMU which is available inbuilt within BLE itself. And this library basically allows you to read the accelerometer, the magnetometer, the gyroscope values from the LSM 90 S1 IMU on your 33 BLE. So it's a very important library. Without this library, you know, 50% of your BLE is dead. It's, you know, what you're going to do. This is a very important sensor and you got to do this carefully step by step one at a time all right guys so let's take a look how we are going to do so i'm going to share my ide give me a second all right there you go so uh, let's i hope you guys can see my screen It's getting hung for some reason. I hope you guys can see it. All right, there you go. So let's let's go to uh, sketch and include libraries and you need to open manage libraries like this. Okay. And can you see it's getting updated at the bottom? So once it gets updated, all you need to do is <clears throat> you need to basically type Arduino, oops, all in uppercase, Arduino underscore LSM. Okay, if you type that, there you go. Can you see that, guys? The first one, if you type Arduino underscore LSM, the first one, Arduino underscore LSM 6D53 by Arduino. And the explanation is written allows you to read the accelerometer and gyroscope values from LSM 6D S3 IMU on your Arduino Nano 33 IoT or Arduino UNO Wi Fi. So that is good. There is also another one here, the third one which is specifically for Arduino 33 BLE Sense, which is what I have installed. You can install actually both, you know, it, because you will be you will be using this board for the IoT projects as well. So this is compatible with IoT projects, the first one and the third one as well. So I have already installed, so that's why it's saying install here, right? So you need to click this button on the top install button. So let me just go ahead and install this as well. So let me click install. There you go. It's installed in a jiffy, just about uh, 
less than a minute so guys you need to install the first one and the third one all right when you type arduino underscore lsm there are three four probably more than 10 20 libraries that will show up so you need to read this carefully the first one which is mentioned as for 33 arduino nano 33 iot or uno right so you you need to install that as well as the third one right third one says that it's for 33 nano uh, arduino nano 33 ble sense so it's very important you install both of these libraries all right guys second one you can leave it that is for the rp2040 connect board which is not yet released in india by the way i am getting one of this board and i am trying to do some experiments and of course i will create some tutorials in a separate series anyways leave apart so once you are ready with this i suggest you take a look at the more info button open it up and go through this github link and understand what exactly this library does this has got a lot of details on the code if you guys are good at c c++ you can understand what exactly the logic being built in this library there are also examples right if you go to the example sections you can open it up but you know it's better to read this to build your skills i'm i'm insisting this again building the skills are very important not just by doing things and copy the same thing what i am trying to show you but also take initiative from your side to do research and try to learn from the internet go to the github learn all this understand it try to do it practically things all right guys so that's it for now and i am going to uh, come back to you soon in the next lesson until then goodbye